Hello everybody and welcome to this video of reassembling your 33 inch tall full-size human anatomy model uh, brought to you by Cornerstone Educational Supply. I'm Dr. Marcus Ross and here to walk you through how to put this whole thing back together. Now the first thing I want to talk about is actually care and storage of your model. When your model came in and you were all excited you pulled everything open there was a plastic bag that went with it that was covering over the model. If you've kept that, great. Uh, because that is designed to help keep the model protected from the styrofoam box that the model uh, came in. Now if you threw the, the plastic bag away, that's alright, no problem, just uh, put a garbage bag uh, or other thin plastic bag over the model and that will just keep the model material from touching the styrofoam because if the model touches it for too long, some of the styrofoam will adhere and stick to it. Now you can clean that off nice and easy with just a, a little hand scrubby. Uh, or your fingernails and it'll come off uh, nice and clean but to make sure that you don't get any unwanted styrofoam on your material cover up your model whenever it's not in use and you've stored it in its styrofoam box. Okay so we've got the model flipped over on its stomach to put in the first couple of items and that are going to be our vertebrae. We have the lumbar vertebrae which is a little bit wider and the thoracic vertebrae whose center is a little bit more narrow. We have a spinal column segment, cord segment that slots in with it and the lumbar vertebrae goes down and the thoracic vertebrae goes up towards the top. Flipping our model back over onto its back so we see the gut side, we're going to work on the upper part of the thoracic uh, area by putting in the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm has got a larger and smaller size. We're going to put the smaller size right over top of the pancreas, uh, sorry the spleen over here, and then we're going to take our lung segment that's on your right, the model's uh, left, but your right, and stick that nice and firm down in there so that it holds the diaphragm against the spleen. Get the other side of the lung in over here and make sure that the diaphragm sits in nice and tight down towards the bottom. Okay, once we've done that, it's time to get our uh, esophagus and descending aorta. There's a peg and a small hole right over there. Put those in together and stick the descending aorta through the small hole in the bottom of the diaphragm. Then get our trachea, which has a peg at the top, which will slot into the small hole at the top of the esophagus. So we have two branches coming off to your uh, right and three branches coming off to your left. We then get our heart, which we've reassembled into one piece from the two, and the pegs are going to go into the uh, vein areas at the base of the neck. Now these can be a little bit tricky, but just uh, make sure that you slot them in. There's one. There's the other. Put them in nice and tight. And that sits right there in between the two lung segments, and now we're ready for the top parts of the lungs, which have the pegs. Those pegs will be going in the small holes towards the upper section of the lungs. So with that, the thoracic area, the chest area of our model is done. So now a couple of things to bring in. In the lower abdomen, we're going to start in by putting in our kidney. It's got two pegs going two little slots on your left-hand side, the model's right. We put that in so that we don't forget about it. Okay, next we take the liver, stick that in on the large end side underneath the uh, diaphragm. We'll also bring in our uh, female anatomy, slide that in. Now if you're, if you're not going to be showing uh, male or female genitalia to your students, that's fine. This part does not have to actually be in in order to fit in the rest of the, uh, the guts, uh, the intestines and the stomach, etc. So if you're not going to be teaching about those items, you've got small kids and you don't want to bring the male or female components you can leave those out, or if you just want to bring uh, one of them in and leave it there, most people won't even notice. Okay, going back towards the upper section over here, we've got our stomach, which is going to fit in right underneath the liver. And now we will reassemble the intestines. We've got a large intestine. We put the little window that connects it to the small intestine back in place with one little peg. There we go. The small intestine is going to fit in this middle peg, there's a small slot right there, and that connects there, and then we have the large intestine running over the top with the two remaining pegs. This whole section will then just kind of slide in underneath over here, give it a little bit of a push. 
but it's not going to fit entirely into the, um, into the abdominal cavity. So you're not looking to try and push it and shove it all the way in. If we stand this up, it will all sit in just fine. It's held together by friction here. The last piece to go on that we're going to show here, and then we'll move on to the head, is the female breastplate. Now the breastplate slots on to a couple of pegs, and we have these kind of spinning pieces of metal with little holes in them. We stick that on there and there. Now there are a couple of screws and some hooks on either side. What we found with this model is that the um, is that the chest plate tends to expand outwards, so you may or may not be able to get these hooked in on either side, but that's okay because if you're uh, just going to be standing this model up, these two pins uh, and holes will be able to hold that material in just fine. And also, if you're not looking to use the breastplate for anatomy lessons, all of this will stand up and everything will hold in just fine uh, all by itself. All these items will stay in and be able to stay vertical without any trouble whatsoever. Okay, so that is the torso portion. Now we're going to switch over to the head. So, as you can see, my mind is empty. And what we need to do is fill it with brains. So the brain halves, there are eight pieces to the brain total. So we've got kind of a disassembled and a fully assembled one. And we want the one half to look just like the other. So this is what the uh, assembled half brain is supposed to look like. So we're just gonna walk you how to get the other half there. So we have um, a couple of pieces. We've got a large, um, a large opening that will fit into that slot right there. And obviously then something has to fit in here. That's this part. Okay, so this part of the brain is going to slide in with kind of the rounded part forward. This part will come in underneath and kind of grip it all together. I just have to maneuver this a little bit until they fit in place. Great. So that part is done. If I turn this over, there's a small hole right here and that's where the peg for the last part of the brain is going to fit. So we'll put that here and then the flat part points in. So now we've got this half of the brain done. The other half of the brain is right here and those two parts now form the full brain. Moving it into the skull here, we'll take this first half and drop it in, keep our fingers on the opposite side so that all the brain stays in. Bring the other side and stick that in just the same. Then our brain and head is assembled and of course we've got two big prongs on the bottom that will slot into the uh, neck and throat area on your model. And now your model is done. So thank you for joining us with uh, this reconstruction of your anatomy model from Cornerstone Educational Supply. I'm Dr. Marcus Ross. Thanks very much.